It appears a lost civilization has been discovered, and at this specific spot, they were worshipping the leopard. This is Karahan Tepe, and Karahan Tepe is one of the most unique and profound archaeological sites ever discovered. This site shows that humans 12,000 years ago were more advanced than we had anticipated, that they had complex societies, cultures, ideas, art, and that they built these giant structures thousands of years before we thought it was possible for them to do this. This is before agriculture, before the wheel, before written language, before pottery. There's about 40 sites spanning for hours in every direction, most of them still underground, but all of them are related to this culture. In the coming years, they plan to excavate 12 of them and call this network Tash Tepeler, which means the Stone Hills. And I first visited Karahan Tepe shortly after the first excavation started in 2019. When I was there, only a small wall had been uncovered with a snake and fox relief. However, archaeologists knew, and it was obvious, that there was a lot more due to the large amount of T-shaped pillars sticking out of the ground all over the hill, similar to the ones found at Gobekli Tepe. And in the few short years it's been since then, incredible findings have been revealed. The bones of animals no longer native to Turkey have been found in abundance, giving us a hint at the climate back then, such as lion, giraffe, crocodile, but the most important is the bone of the leopard. Not only bones, but a majority of the reliefs recently found here depict leopards. But we'll get back to that in just one minute. This was more or less the first enclosure discovered and the one that shook the world of archaeology. Some of the archaeologists working on the site are hypothesizing as one potential idea that this specific enclosure could have been used as some sort of tribal initiation a symbolic rite of passage from boyhood into manhood. And this got me thinking, to entertain the idea that this was a place of importance and potentially a spot of ritual or rite of passage into manhood, or maybe even a sacred place reserved for shamans or elders to do hunting magic. The reason I believe this is because we find an array of animal bones with hunting marks on them including the unusual animals I mentioned previously, like giraffes and lions, crocodiles, the leopard. It seems as if the decorated human pillars are wearing animal pelts around their waist, which seem to be that of a leopard. To me, this suggests that these people were not only incredible stone carvers, but they were very skilled hunters, and they wanted that dominance depicted in their art. For example, we find men carrying leopards on their back at Karahan Tepe. So far, this is the only place that we find this. And I couldn't find anything online to confirm, but I believe one of the pillars here in the center of this enclosure is actually a worn stylized pillar of a man holding a leopard on his back, similar to the others found here. This one is just harder to make out. Could this spot have been a privilege held for those who were able to hunt the fiercest predator? Perhaps before manhood, you had to hunt a leopard and bring its body here. Maybe leopards were such a problem and they're showing that they attacked people from the back. I've even heard some ideas that they had them as pets. It's honestly impossible for us to know, but it's really interesting to just ponder different ideas. Nearby at Sai Birch, in 2001 this small relief was found in a village and it shows a man grabbing his penis in between two leopards. Again, in my opinion, this is showing man's dominance over nature. A man stands between the, the bodies of two leopards, grasping himself. The penis is a reoccurring symbol in this culture, which could represent masculinity or maybe fertility, as pregnancy art has also been found. One thing my friend Matt said over at the Ancient Architects YouTube channel, he said that it appears as if these sites have clan animals. The fox of Gobekli, the leopard of Karahan, and like I said, there are over 40 related sites to this culture. This is Ramazan, the professor of cinema at the Haran University. Here he is sharing some of the recent discoveries and talking about the importance of Karahan Tepe. They have a strong connection with the leopard. Uh, when he said, when you check the uh, Gobekli Tepe, you see that uh, which animals they scared or which animals they can 
B de genul de mai tare. T T cafe cafe. And after he uh, said that uh, leopard it's one of the important animal for them. Uh, you can see there is a man he put yeah, on yeah, yeah carrying a leopard and also you can see the skin of the leopard. Yeah. Hey man, you know, you can see the face of the leopard. Uh, it means like they can beat the leopard, uh, uh, maybe they have a strong uh, connection uh, with the leopard, like we have with the cats. Mm-hmm. How to say, like, you know, the cats, it's a uh, pet cats. Maybe leopard also is something like that for them. Yeah. Uh, in the symbol of this this place in Karatopi, we can see that they have almost every relationship with the leopard. Yeah. For that reason, and also uh, the leopard maybe uh, this I cannot say anything. Maybe it's a symbol of the power yeah, for power. that. Yeah. You. Sorry. A symbol of the power. Which can have any influence on the leopard? And there's a uh, like they see a lot of. And with bones, but uh, most of that is a low. Most of the bones are little yeah. bones. So then, so on. Supplant, large, then or antilepton, so on. Yeah. And chop, low. Are the humans when they find tombs? Are the humans buried with anything? Like, is there any ritualistic burial? Like they're putting bones with the human. Jan, the the, yeah, yeah, he said that we cannot say anything about that because we just see the, uh, some part of the. It's crazy because it's probably one of the most significant archaeological sites ever. Yeah, discovered. I think. Uh, yeah. It's going to change the world. Probably. Yeah, it is. Probably because it has to. Because in the history, then in the school when they teach us about history, they said like people first they hunt, you know, and then after they uh, learn how to do the heritage farming, and after they build some places for their region. Like the time is passed like that. Yeah. But to give data to show us it's, that it's wrong. It's wrong. What is wrong, you know, because they are hunting, you know, and they have a just they put yeah. a place. Yeah. To, Big, for their all, region. Huge. Yeah. 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 Huge. How they do it's a civilization. Yeah. Like uh, maybe these temples makes women to find farming. Yeah. yeah. Because they want to stay in that, yeah. close to their temple, close yeah. to their place, and the uh, weather, or let's say the other animals, and also the, the geography didn't yeah. let them to do that, and they uh, find to how to find. It. Yeah. So the original the original idea is that we learned agriculture, and then that inspired religion. Yeah. But this is proving that maybe religion came first, and that inspired us to come into communities, which led to all the yeah. things around. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe religion came first. Yeah, Probably, yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah, you can say that. Now it looks like that. We don't know because there is a 14th mm-hmm. temple like that. They're gonna open 12 of them. And there's four, yeah, 40. 40, four, four, yeah, four, 40. Yeah, yeah. Only mm-hmm. 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 12 of them they're gonna open, but I hope that we will have enough age to see <laughs> because it's a lot of work. Uh, it's really interesting, like. To be and to feel like because when we go Kirtana, she orphan is the third raster master. Only Sarah Sarah was that. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, like, for me, when I enter the Rubai Tepe, I feel stony energy. Mm-hmm. This is important. And also in Karan Tepe, same, you feel the uh, strong energy from that. Like, uh, that means like there is something in this area, like. We don't know it's a what, but we have to search. Hopefully soon we will know more and we can begin to piece the puzzle together. So click subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. I have videos of me exploring archaeological sites all over the earth. This one is very important to me, so I'm going to be making more videos about this.